the lovely Rotterdam from ESL TV. He is a commentator and he casted quite some games so far. How is the event? Uh, it's been really good. We had a couple of short series though, so today we're done really early, which is a bit sad because this is actually a time when people get out of work and out of school, so they can actually watch. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll land radar so everybody can watch. But other than that, obviously, it's always fun to be here and meeting my friends. It's always good. It's always nice to see you at events. And I mean, it's, it's I don't know, do you actually keep track of the events you're, you're going through? Because there has, has been so many. Do you remember all of them? Uh, yeah, I do remember all of them. And obviously, I remember all the good parts from all of them. But I wouldn't be able to make a list right now about all the events I've been to. But every event you go to, you always get like a badge, as you are wearing one right now. And I collect those, so one day I can actually order them out and sort them out. Then I can write everything down. But all day I remember everything and so many good memories I won't forget. The year only just started. There are many events to come. Is there one particular event you're really looking forward to? Uh, well, next week I'm going to do an event in Texas. And that's the first time ever I do something in uh, Austin. It's also basically my first StarCraft event in the US, even though we did an IM event there. But, and I did NESL as well, I forgot about that. So it's another StarCraft event I do in the US, and I really love it there. Uh, now it's going to be cool. I've never been to the Austin or Texas for that matter. So yeah, that's what I look forward to. And I just live from event to event, and everything is awesome. So. Uh, was there any highlight this event so far for you? Like any. Uh Something you did not expect, for example, Elfie coming through or something. Was that the highlight or was there something else you really enjoyed? Yeah, no, that was pretty much my highlight, uh, soccer vice so over this tournament. Just how well Elfie was doing and we had a lot of fun joking about it. So that was really good. Uh, it's sad that he lost today though and I really felt he could have won. He got really, uh, he played so sloppy in the second game that was not necessary. So the story could have even been better, but it was still a good story and brings a good laugh. So lots of people know you as a commentator and now also lots of people know you as a player. How did you make that decision to like stop playing uh, professionally and then uh, move into commentary? Was that hard for you? Do you still feel the urge to go back as a gamer? Uh, yeah, definitely. If I would have the skill right now to be one of the best Star Wars 2 players, I would immediately switch. Even though I really love casting and I appreciate everybody who gives me nice words for my casting and encourages me to go on. Um, yeah, I think pro gaming is really the best thing what there is. I have a lot of respect for those guys who practice so hard, they can still compete. And I really enjoy my time as a caster. And right now that's obviously what I want to do because this is my career between brackets right now. And that's the plans I make. But uh, if I, within somehow, within a year, get really good, I might say like, all right, you know what? For six months, I'll give casting a break and I'm going to play full time. But it's kind of unlikely because it's so hard. I'm really busy with casting. And when I do something, I want to do it all the way. So, like, I want to go all out, and I've been working really hard. I try to make as much cool things as possible, and I can't just be one of the best players and be really active as a caster, producing stuff for the community at the same time. That's almost impossible, and uh, I'm very happy in the position I am right now, but if I would somehow suddenly overnight get as good as MMA, uh, I'd be playing again. <laughs> so then, talking a little bit about future, is there anything, like, big for you planned this year or within the next two years, something, I don't know, just just general stuff you you could tell us well I've got a really big life change coming up I will move somewhere uh, that's going to be really awesome I can't say too much about it yet uh, details will be announced in a few days which is unfortunate otherwise I could just tell you but uh, now it's good that's good I'm really excited about that I'm sorry I can't say more right now but uh, yeah also about the previous question I forgot to say because you asked me how I went from gamer to caster it's kind of a long story but I was really good in Warcraft 3 but then the game changed in many ways and I was still kind of playing outdated styles which were not that good anymore and then I was kind of joking once with a friend saying like hey man you suck at casting let me do it and it was just a joke because he was really good but they still invited me on the game uh, on the cast and everybody was like wow Rotterdam really knows what he's talking about now, obviously I play the game nine hours a day uh, that people like they should do this more often and then the company is like yeah okay do you want to cast this and this and that's how I got started and somehow I just rolled into it and I did event after event after event so. Well, I'm pretty sure I speak for many people that we are happy to see you on screen, not only as a player, but also as a commentator. As it's always been enjoying to watching you, and we have some more games coming up at say also the Grand Finals. Do you have any prediction as to who will maybe take the first place? Uh, uh, even before the tournament started, I already said that I think MMA is going to win it, because I just think he's ridiculously good. First day he went 5-0, 10-0, so I kind of got proven right at that one, but it wasn't a bold prediction because everybody knows he's really good. Uh, I still kind of cheer for Feast because he's the only non-Korean left. We have seven Koreans right now in Feast. And I really hope that he could make something happen. 
Uh, he's going to have a tough test, but I, I don't know. The kid plays so relaxed. It seems like he's not bothered by pressure. So maybe he can make something happen, but I think MMA will win the tournament. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward for the game, so I don't want to steal any more of your time. Let you go back to being awesome, basically. So thanks a lot for joining me for the interview. You're welcome, and thanks a lot, Zoe. It's always a pleasure.